What's going on you guys? Thanks for stopping to the channel. I'm gonna do another Battlefield 2042 controller settings video. I did one uh, a couple months back. It did very well and I appreciate you guys coming by and listening and um, using the settings. It seems like it worked pretty well for you. Now there have been uh, a handful of updates since that time. Uh, bug fixes, patches, things like that. Um, inevitably when those things happen, so do certain settings preferences. So we're going to do a new video today. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, let me know in the comments if this works for you. I hope maybe you'll consider liking this video, maybe subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Let's get into it. I like my general aim sensitivity at 60, but everybody's going to be different here. Field of view, I used to play with this a lot higher. I think it's better with it down into the mid 80s to upper 80s. It just seems everything seems smoother this way. Um, this has to do with the difference in the way horizontal and vertical FOV works. ADS field of view on uh, soldier aim assist at 100 instead of the previous 90 value I'd add. And the aim snap zoom is down to 15. Now, this is quite a bit different than my first video, but I promise you this works wonderfully um, as I showed you in some of the clips at the beginning. Uh, the reason we've went down here is because previously this you know setting didn't really work all that well for this game so we use it at max now it works the way it's intended it seems like so if you have it too high and you're in an engagement with several people you're going to end up uh, not being able to lock on any one person particularly um some of this stuff here again this is all user defined really um, you might want to use this traversal sprint on just to save your stick i personally don't like it just because um, i feel like i've got less control of my character um, some of these options here we're not really going to mess with too much soldier aims uh, zoom aim sensitivity i've lowered this down to 95 now this doesn't necessarily mean you're going to want to do this you might want to keep it at 100 you might want to lower it even more depending on your play style if you're up close a lot you're not going to want to lower it much if you're back in the uh, you know sniping or mid-range shooting you're going to maybe want to lower this um, all this stuff we're leaving the same aim left right acceleration we're turning all the way down vertical aim ratio we're bumping down to 40 this ensures that we are able to stay on a level axis as we turn fast uniform soldier aiming is on i know some people have maybe said this was a bad idea to, to use i think that's incorrect because this really helps smooth out the game and then we've turned out the coefficient down to zero. All the stuff we're leaving at 100 as we have that uh, uniform soldier aiming on. Now in general controller tuning, as I've always said in any settings video I've ever done for any FPS game, uh, the lowest numbers that you can get here are typically the best as far as the center and axial dead zones are concerned. When you have both options, it's great. Um, and now, it works really well, so I think uh, as low as you can get it or as low as you comfortably can get it, I like it around four. Um, three and a half. I play with it at one. I, I like it anywhere, but I'm thinking three and a half to four is what's going to work for most people without having to worry about stick drift. That axial dead zone for both also down to zero. Now, the interesting thing here that we did with the max input threshold on the left and right stick is we just dialed it back of just three numbers. And there's something about this that makes it feel much more smooth. When these are set to 100, it just feels like it's a little unresponsive and it takes a little too long to get to full speed. Um, and it feels almost like, you know, artificial acceleration. So keeping this number just a little below 100 has really, really smoothed out the aiming, in my opinion. Um, you have to let me know what you think about that. L2 and R2 uh, buttons, the max input threshold we're lowering this down to give ourselves a little more responsiveness just basically meaning that it's we're going to require less of a pull on either one of these to get them to uh to relay an input so down to 50 percent is going to make it just faster and more responsive when you aim down sights or when you're firing all right guys that's what i've got for you today uh, let me know in the comments below if you use these settings and how they work for you if you like them if they're not working for you for some reason i want to know um, i do appreciate you stopping by the channel we'll see you later